cold start is back. The cold start. The horrible cold start. be driving this so pretty cool pretty cool seeing it all right guys well there you guys have it the M4 has been parted out. It is back to stock. Ignore the wheel caps, the center caps right there. Couldn't get those off, but it's, you know, it's not really worth it at this point. Check out the front grille, it's in silver. Has never, I think it was like that for a little tiny bit. The headlights in black with that look pretty good, but guys, M4 is going bye-bye. I'm gonna go trade it in literally right now. Those tires are pretty much brand new, so whoever gets this car, you got some brand new tires. You got titanium bolts. Uh, pretty much uh, blacked out headlights. Uh, what else is there? The interior. Done a little things. Reverted it back to stock. See the aluminum trim. I left uh, this wheel on because my leather one got uh, refinished in that like double layer Alcantara. So that's... I'm keeping that and then uh, I'm gonna try and you know sell all these parts obviously you guys so back to a stock shifter that's my old one uh, stock knob it is freezing it is literally 19 degrees and uh, this marks sort of the end of an era on my YouTube channel I'm done with the M4 videos you know obviously if I get in an M4 again I might drive it but uh, will I ever own one again probably not and uh, with that being said, I'm going to go inside of the car because it is literally, my hands are numb. They're already numb and it's been 26 seconds and maybe I'm just a little bitch. I probably am a little bitch, but anyways, guys, that's the M4 from the exterior. Let's talk about what I loved about the car, what I hated about the car, and uh, why I got rid of it. All right, much warmer here in the M4. It is uh a sunny day in chicago the chicago suburb area i know for those of you people who live in chicago you always correct us so you don't live in fucking chicago you live like 30 minutes away anyways i'm gonna just quickly run down the things i love about the m4 the things i hate about the m4 and um it's it's sort of ba like a balance of both like it, it's like a love i guess it's like a love hate of this car but in all honesty I got bored of it. I honestly got bored of it. And uh, the real reason for me trading this in and, you know, getting a different uh, vehicle car uh, is just the fact that, you know, it's going down in value and it just doesn't excite me uh, anymore. And, and, and by that, I mean, like, obviously the speed is there. And I want to offer this advice to anyone buying a sports car, fast car, what supercar, whatever. Do not look at the numbers because the numbers do not matter, okay? I have the perfect example for you guys. So, Nade's car, which was the car I really fell in love with cars on, uh, the E92 M3, it was a 2011 E92 M3. Uh, basically, the M3 with the V8. And the sound on that car, like, the sound on any V8 is just, like, bar none. Like, you can't, you can't find anything else like it. Um, except for V10s and V12s, but those are, you, you can't really own those cars. I mean, I mean, you can, but it's just, you're going to need two cars if you own one of those, except for, uh, the V10 M5, the old M5. Um, anyways, guys, and that's my car right there. <laughs> I hope it didn't get picked up in the background. Anyways, guys, things I love about the M4, things I hate about the M4. Let's start with the things I dislike first. I watched Grand Tour last night. The M4 GTS versus the 911 uh, GT3 RS, and I mean, it wasn't really like a fair battle, but things were not, there were not nice things said about the M4 GTS, and the M4 GTS is like literally double the cost of a normal M4, and it's literally in a, like a completely different car, and with all the modifications that I did before, it was pretty much, it wasn't on that level, 
because of like the weight saving stuff but I definitely I had more power I had bigger wheels lighter wheels as well um, they had carbon ceramic brakes I had uh, steel Brembo brakes which you know it's debatable which is better obviously for longer use the carbon ceramics are gonna be better but uh, if you ask me those brakes just like they stop like that basically they said what was good was the steering wheel and the seats and it wasn't these seats it was the bucket seats but these seats are still really nice I love them but if you ask me what is nice about this car uh, obviously the interior is it's nothing it's nothing special I'm not gonna lie to you guys I can't actually I take that back about the interior I can't really say anything about it because I bought this car used and it doesn't have the full leather extended so see that that's all plastic all plastic all plastic all plastic if I were to show you guys what it would look like the door card I guess you can say is is a good example this stitching like that it would be the stitching all across here so what else was nice is the fact that it's a manual but that's also a negative at the same time because I don't like when I drive this car in a manual right it in my opinion it does not feel like it should be a manual car and it was not designed to be a manual car in all honesty like and I mean I, I realize I'm not you know really car savvy and stuff like that but something just feels off with the engine uh, you know the the twin turbos and everything but using a manual and it's just like and that's why I really wanted the uh, the short shift kit just to see if it would improve and it did it, it actually did improve it a lot uh, the overall feel of the car but uh, it still feels like this car needs an automatic gearbox and the double clutch so if, if I if I was given advice to you I would definitely go with the paddles um, you're gonna get roasted for it obviously but in all honesty if I had, were to buy this car again or trade it in for the exact same car I would get uh, an automatic uh, next thing is the standard brakes on this car are really not that good they'll they're they're gonna get the job done but they're not that good uh, the the whole wheel well area needs to be completely not redesigned but it needs to be changed because it it likes as standard right it looks almost like a fucking off-road vehicle because there's like that much room in there but yeah this is what I was talking about with the wheel well and what will surprise you guys is that this is lowered a little bit this is not standard height this is lowered just a little bit and that is fuck that's absolutely insane the fact that this is a lowered it's probably lowered like really really not that much I'm sure AMGs and stuff like that have like that uh, like it's that much like like in order for my for the M4 to get to this like the low standard that Sess C63 AMG was at, I had to get lowering springs, and that's just kind of ridiculous. Like it, if you're selling a car, a customer doesn't really want that. I mean, I'm pretty sure it mostly a lot like a lot of M4 owners and M3 owners actually ended up doing that, like getting those lowering springs, and uh, it just kind of sucks that you have you had to put all these modifications in the car to make it look like what it should have came out of the factory as. Uh, another, a positive, the sound system, absolutely incredible. I'm pretty sure everyone has agreed this, the sound system is insane. I'm so glad they put this in. That was sort of a must for me because I came from a the Volkswagen Jetta 2000, 2001, 2000. I still have it, it's somewhere. It didn't have like an aux cord or an MP3 or anything like that. I had to listen to the radio, so. Uh, before this car, the whole concept of me playing whatever song I wanted was sort of, it, it wasn't there. So I'm going to wrap this up by saying a couple more things. The exhaust sound, the whole exhaust is fucking terrible. I don't think it's the exhaust, I think it's more the engine because no matter what exhaust you put on it, it just doesn't, it doesn't sound clean. Like, it sounds... It sounds, I'm, I'm not gonna say it sounds bad, but it doesn't sound like good, if that makes sense. Like it's just there. Something that I love about this car is the looks. Besides the wheel well and how how it's not really as low as it should be, the, looks, the look of it is absolutely incredible. I'm pretty sure that's like an undeniable thing that the M4 just looks amazing. 
everyone I've talked to just it's it's like a hard car to not like the look of it if that makes sense so it's just a car that you know you can just look at and be like wow that's like subtle but that's clean that's mean but it's not over the top so and I think that's you know that's like a perfect standard for uh, for an M car so they really nailed that and else I really like is the mirrors the mirrors I'm not sure who came up with this design, but you guys need to fucking promote them immediately. Let's look at the mirrors from the outside. So this is what this is what people see when it's coming forward. Excuse the water bottle. Like those like how can you not like those mirrors? Like how can you not look at that? Love the headlights, love the front bumper, the whole, like I said guys, the whole look of the car, they nailed it. Another thing I love is the steering wheel. The steering wheel is incredible. This is back to stock, so it's got the leather, but it's got the uh, this wheel on it, that's the only wheel I had. You know, the buttons are in the right spot, uh, especially the, like, these are the volume buttons, so you up and down, cruise control this, this, up and down, you can literally set that. The M mode, so basically if you want to go fast, boom, boom, uh, that's it. Don't really use that too much. Have no friends. Don't get phone calls. Uh, gauge cluster is good as well. I actually take back what I said about the interior. It is actually pretty good. It's, uh, it's what I like to call functional. The only thing not functional is the fact that the cup holders are right in front of the manual gearbox. So check this out. All right, so cup holders are there. Sorry, there's a little coffee stand I love my coffee and basically if I'm driving right and say I have a big cup say I go to McDonald's and get the biggest thing possible or I get an icy like 70 fucking ounces if I do this in the first it's gonna hit it like every time it's literally gonna hit it every time yeah but this is with the short shift kit as well so the standard version if you guys are looking at M4s it's going to go literally double as far as this so this is going to be more like here or a little bit further I'm not sure if it's that far just to give you a point like if if a cup is coming out like that far it's gonna hit it like I said guys end of an era love this car you know those those are just more pet peeves besides the sound um, the sound was really what got me and what really made this car not as exciting as it should be uh, for the steering feel and everything I've I've really only been in a couple cars. I'm, I can't really say uh, what feels good, what feels bad. Like I've literally been in this Will's car, the M E92 M3, the car that I already that I traded this in for that I haven't talked about, and a couple a couple race cars like literal GT Cup cars, which literally is not it's not even in the same world or league as this. So, uh, but as for a street car, you know, steering feel is not that bad. Um, it's not that good either, but you know, it, it gets the job done. So this is a very, it's a very functional car. It's a very good car for your money. And I'm pretty sure used, they're going pretty cheap now. So, um, I know I, I, I didn't get a lot for this, but I didn't get a little. So uh, I think that the fact that it's a manual sort of increases its value. And anyways, guys, I'm going to go trade this in now. You guys will see what car I have next. Um, not sure when though, because... It's going to snow for a whole week and I really want to get roller shots and basically just show off the car from the outside and not just, you know, walk around the car. I'd rather, you know, drive it around and get some clips of that. Uh, with that being said, though, guys, that's the M4. We're done here. It was it was an enjoyable ride. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these those videos I made and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Appreciate the support. Be sure to like the video and I'll see you guys in the next car video which is to be determined. I'm just, I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited to get this new car.